Kathy and Angela as well, again from Empurpled Waves, uh, amazing structures, really uh, great to highlight artists here on the show on Shaw TV. And speaking of highlighting artists, we're going to turn right to my guest here right now, uh, Vancouver Island singer-songwriter Hazen Sage. Hazen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us, Matt. I'm really stoked because you always have some of the best hats. And so I, I got to give highlights to your Longwood hat because you were the first ever artist to play at the first Longwood Stock Festival. Yeah, last it was year. great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, so good to get on here. And again, love the hats. Good stuff. They, gave me, they make some of the best pier on the island. It's pretty beautiful, I'm telling you. <laughs> now, you know what? Now, we're already, we're already getting into beauty here and stuff. And now, to start off, before we talk about the music, I just want to talk a little bit sort of about you. And there was a situation with you years ago. Um, I don't want this to sound really dark for our listeners, but basically you had pretty much died for a little bit. And, and so just whatever's comfortable. Talk about that moment and how that sort of led into all your music. Well, basically, I, uh, I went under the wheels of an impaired driver and uh, three times, and it killed me for... Uh, 13 minutes um, but it, as much as that sounds dark and gloomy uh, it took me to a real beautiful place uh, you'd have to read more on my website to get more in detail on it but I could just share that it was very 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 spiritual and it sent me back down with a different uh, path so clearly it was more of a wake up and uh, I could sing and I could play a guitar before but I couldn't do them together and then when I came back and I had a guitar against me and the first chord hit me and it awoke everything inside me and then all of a sudden I just had concerts in my head and I could sing and play guitar and it's led me here to you Matt yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about so now the, the way you describe your music on your website is world gypsy rock yeah. so I would say talk a bit about what that is and also did that sort of music conscious was that in you before the accident or is that something that came out of since then well I've always loved music and I've always gravitated to all types of music um Everything from Beethoven to Tom Petty to Metallica. But uh, uh, no, it was more of once I got out on the road, I traveled down to Mexico for six months and started really absorbing cultural music. And people wanted me to, you know, learn, you know, learn something from here. You know, so as I traveled, I picked up different types of styles of playing. Um, but it really kind of, again, I awoke the gypsy in me. So the gypsy, the world, and you can't ever dismiss that I'm from Canada. And I listen to a lot of great North American music of rock and roll and some great bands in Canada like the Tragically Hip. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we were talking before we came on the show here about, um, uh, I watched the, the Kingston final performance, you did it as well. Um, what do you think it is that so, makes so many Canadians connect to their songs? Well, I think one, they're Canadian. Two, they rip. Three, they're all real great badass Canadians. Uh, I think the connection is so deep with Gord Downey. Um, I know for myself personally, I mean, I never had a dad. So for me, the lyrics and the message that was coming out of, out of Gord was a, was a huge influence to how to view or how to see with such a great, refreshing perspective. Um, and there was a huge connection there. And I think that everybody on whatever level that they perceived or took that in as and viewed the song or heard it their way, they really, I don't know, they, everybody connected with everybody and shared. <laughs> yeah, very powerful, really landmark moment in the country. Yeah, it was. So, now, and I've seen you perform a number of times, and, I mean, I would say your songs are, are quite powerful as well. So, so speak about what it is like now to write music. Now you're starting to move toward that similar kind of connections with audiences. Like, again, I talk about, like, Longwood Stop kicking that off, like, just sure. blew so many people away. Is, is that something that's really important to you when it comes down to writing your songs? Uh... No, I don't. I won't cater, say, to uh, what I think people will hear. It's more of a. Uh, the, I'm in an avatar, and I get channeled from my higher self and guide. I get. I can't explain it more than that, other than I, I kind of feed myself the info from above, and it just kind of comes out. And uh, the presentation for the stage for the people is I'm just going to try to play it with all I can so that you feel what that message was. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like the music chooses you. You don't choose the music. Yeah, pretty much. It's like uh, I'm just the driver. I'm just the messenger. <laughs> nice. So, again, we've written some great stuff. Um, and again, I know you uh, released an album in 2016 called Thrive. Is that the most recent? Uh... Yes, it is. All right, perfect. So where can people find more information about that album and your other songs and more about you and your music endeavors in general? Sure. So hazensage.com has everything that uh, you'd need for any kind of downloads, streaming, info, sites, blogs. Everything is there. So it's a one-stop shop. 
Nice, nice. All right, well, again, obviously, you know, we've got a bunch of great shows uh, this summer. Um, look forward to seeing what's coming up next. So, again, we're going to get to watch some more some music. Your next song is called T for Two. What's that song about? Uh, it's about this real amazing woman that I met, and I had to write her a song, and this is the one. Beautiful. All right, Hazel Sage here for you on the show on Shaw TV.